What's going guys, it's Seth Monk here. Today I'm going to be talking about some things rather interesting concerning Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and uh, what has recently been decoded from the in-game files of the most recent patch update for Call of Duty Warzone and um, Vanguard. Now I've gone to Reality UK on Twitter. He's actually managed to um, go into the in-game files of the, like I say, of the most recent patch update uh, as for basically like Rebirth of the Dead and the mid-season update for Vanguard, which included the brand new map uh, called Desolation. Reality UK actually have tweeted out quite a few interesting things that he's actually managed to find for what appears to be Warzone within the in-game files as well. So basically what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to start from the bottom of what Reality has posted here. So for the last few days he's posted some Season 5 emblems, now these have been um, closed down due to copyright, obviously we can't post any images of that here on the channel, but apparently well, it appears to be somewhat between 50 to 55 levels of, I think there may have been like 10 emblems sh shown on these three images, so that's really interesting. Uh, he's actually found some rather interesting uh, weapon references, so FN2000, which is called named FNOV2000 in the in-game files, E-Mic1 could potentially be e the EM1. The K-Gun, which is in the in-game files, is related to the K-Gun, but it's a pistol, but we have zero idea what it is. Uh, we believe at this present moment in time the K-Gun could be the KG-99, also known as the Tech 9 which is a very small SMG. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, apparently there's some Warzone files that have been recently been decoded, uh, so it looks like Cortez Early Access MSG could potentially be related to the campaign Early Access, which is really interesting. Um, so it could, well, even though it may say available now, it's not actually available at this present moment in time. Um, so this could potentially, the campaign Early Access could potentially be related to a possible alpha. Um, we don't have a date or times of when that could potentially happen, but it's in the in-game files, so this could suggest that uh, something could be happening really soon, possibly during the um, announcement, possibly at Gamescom, um, because we expect a multiplayer to become in September, according to um, Tom Henderson. Uh, there's also Cortez underscore now underscore available, so Modern Warfare 2 is now available. Not technically available now, but it is available for pre-order at this present moment in time. Uh, it's also managed to find something rather interesting. Now, some people may remember quite a while back now, there was a leak showing a basically all the current Call of Duties, so Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019, uh, Black Ops Cold War, Vanguard, etc, etc. Now, this could potentially be the case. So, Call of Duty HQ is the HQ underscore name as in the in-game files. HQ underscore desk, short for description. This is how we know this is the HQ blade, so that's interesting. And logic underscore cod underscore HQ, logic call of duty HQ, so we can expect to see some sort of Netflix vibe with the Call of Duty series. Now, it would be amazing to see all the Call of Duty games from way back when. I would love to see that, but uh, I think it's a little bit too much to ask at this present moment in time, so I'm probably going to expect like, um, Modern Warfare 2019, Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, Warzone, uh, Modern Warfare 2 when that comes out. Um, if they do decide to integrate all the previous Call of Duties from, as I say, way back when, so Modern Warfare 1, 2 and 3, Black Ops 1, I don't think Black Ops will happen, but um, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm keen to hear what you guys' views and thoughts are that in the comments box down below. Codename Sticks. Now I'm, a, I'm not 100% sure what Sticks could possibly be, but uh, Sticks underscore Caps potentially could be Warzone 2. Um, so that's really interesting. Sticks now available, so I'm guessing Sticks must be the coordinate for Warzone 2. Now available, obviously it's not available yet, but just a string for later use. A uh, very unique way to do it, as I've mentioned about the early access on Sky MSG. Excuse me. A very unique way to do a bit or alpha. While it won't let us to test most things, people want to test, which is pretty cool. Uh, WZ underscore legacy underscore install underscore pop up underscore title. Install Warzone Legacy. So I'm, I'm not 100% sure on this one. Uh, I think this could potentially be Warzone Legacy, could maybe be uh, Warzone 1. So this could, looks like that Warzone 1 will be called Warzone Legacy when Warzone 2 releases. Now, this is probably gonna, that's probably going to be going live next year because that's when we're expecting Warzone 2 to go live and launch fully. 
Um, also, another cool thing to note was on three, or WZ 345 refers to Season 4 Reloaded, a string referring to campaign early access available now in Season 4 Reloaded. So we expect to see something to do with um, this campaign early access, which I'm thinking, I'm not exactly sure if this is referring to the Modern Warfare 2 campaign or is it referring to the Warzone 2. But uh, I'll have to keep you guys updated on that. Um, I don't think there's any clear indicator at this present moment in time when that is going to be finalised. Just looking for, Right, so apparently the end of this season is in 27 days, 21 hours. So, which I'm going to have to do some math here, guys. 27 days from today's date. So, let's see here. 7, uh, 14, 21, 27... Uh, so I expect to see maybe something around the 24th of August. Um, now again, this would fall in line potentially with Gamescom. And that's on the 23rd, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure Gamescom is on the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to expect to see some sort of potential campaign announcement or an early campaign access. So that's really going to be interesting there. Um... Uh, where are we up to here? Unlock an exclusive legendary KGM forty K KGM forty blueprint, legendary charm, a legendary calling card by purchasing both Umbrella Ac Academy bundles before September the thirtieth. What will be granted later in season five? Uh, preserve the time continuum and get loaded up on sugar with the tracer pack Umbrella Academy Cha Cha bundle. This bundle features blueprints with. I think this is just code names. Should we blue, pink traces, and random mayhem dismemberment, and includes a vanguard on the item. Okay. Um, so that's really interesting there. Uh, ready to get infamous? Start some instant Armageddon with the tracer pack umbrella academy hazel bundle. This bundle features blueprints with psychotic pink, blue traces, random mayhem dismemberment, and includes a vanguard on the item. Uh, that's pretty much more or less what I said earlier. Uh, the Psyops Assassin Pro Pack. Uh, if you try and dominate with the Trace Pack, Psyops Assassin Pro Pack. This one brings insane value with 32,400 Call of Duty points. Blueprints with uh, red tracers and more. This one includes a Vanguard only item, 2,400 Cog points and color codes. Okay. Um, apparently, free with the digital pre order of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. The time has come to show our true strength for the Khaled Al Assad operator bundles. So it looks like Khaled Al Assad, which is one of the leaked four operators that we we initially thought was going to be for Vanguard. So it looks like it's going to be happening for Modern Warfare 2. Now that makes sense with the storyline concerning, if you remember back at the end of Modern Warfare 2019, uh, Khaled Al Assad did feature in the ending cutscene. So that's really interesting there as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's also something related to Oktoberfest, but I, I say this one's a bit early, to be quite honest with you. Oktoberfest, raise your glass for the Oktoberfest bundle. Uh, introducing the legendary blueprint for the EX-1, dust off the cartridge and plug into the tracer pack for Call of Duty 8-bit warfare bundle. This bundle features a Mastercraft blueprint with a weapon inspection and blueprints with three high-bit pixel traces. Okay. Introducing the first legendary blueprint for the RA-225, order up with the Burger Town bundle. They leaked both weapons for Season 5 as well. Uh, I don't think we've got any images of that. I don't want to take a chance of um, getting this video taken down for copyright. But it looks like the bundles for Raul Menendez, uh, Rourke and Seraf have been left out of the Warzone files. So we know it must be related somewhat to either Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2, or potentially Warzone if they decide to remove it and put it back at a later date, but we'll have to go and see on that. Um, Umbrella Academy, Alasad and all bundles he has previously posted are Season 5 content. Uh, the new event camo is apparently for the Vargo S, the brand new um, assault rifle I think that is, that's currently in-game on Vanguard. Just to give you a bit of an idea as to what these look like, this looks really cool if I do say so myself. Um, this is how you would see it if, if you were in the creator class menus. I'll be honest with you, that looks really cool. Now, unfortunately for me, um, I don't play as much Vanguard as I probably I'd used to now, but um, 
I might check that out. If you want to see some gameplay of the Vark OS in uh, Vanguard, let again let me know in the comments, and I'll get some gameplay there for you guys with that. Um, okay. The Season 5 weapons are EX-1, or otherwise known as the EM-1, and the RA-225. This is also a, melee, also a melee weapon, which has not been yet been given a name. Uh, manual gas mask is located in weapons and equipment in the settings, apparently, so that's interesting. Uh, I think that's all we've got in terms of the updates on his... Just, just do a quick refresh, just make sure. Yeah, that's all I've got for now. Uh, on that, uh, apparently... Modern Warfare 2 campaign early access reportedly leaked in the data mine. So as you guys, as I'm just going to go quickly over this again. Uh, it appears players might get to experience the campaign ahead of launch after a single was found in the Warzone Pacific Season 4 Reloaded game files. Uh, with the Warzone Season 4 Reloaded update going live, the leaker has discovered a string of seems to point towards early access for Modern Warfare 2's campaign. Um, so it looks like it'll have an early access period as you guys can see. So I can't wait for that. If this string is true, our players will get early access to Modern Warfare 2's campaign is not clear, nor when it could start. It could either be through the $100 Vault Edition or as one of the still unannounced pre order bonuses. Uh, Lakers also discovered that Files for Call of Duty HQ, which could believe that the new launcher for the franchise acting as a hub where you can launch all the Call of Duty games from. So, I want to know what you guys thought of this. Let me know in the comments box down below. Keen to hear what you guys' views and opinions are. Uh, make sure you guys thumbs up this video if you're all excited to learn more about this rather interesting campaign early access. If you do, drop a like, hit subscribe button if you're new, hit the notification bell so you can and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.